Hi you guys, it's Amanda with Healthy House on the Block and I am here with another weekly video and tip on creating an indoor space and environment that supports your health and wellness. This week we're going to talk about bathroom products, um, beauty products and things that we're using in the bathroom that we could switch out to be low toxin. So I'm going to be sharing with you some of the core uh, materials and products that we really want to focus on. I'm also going to be sharing with you some really great places that you can shop to find these things really easily. Everything from bath rugs that are organic cotton to your beauty products where you can find curated clean beauty products that won't cost you an arm and a leg and you don't need a subscription for. I'm going to be sharing all these things with you including discount codes. Um, so this video and the slides that are coming up are based on this week's blog post. If you're someone who wants to go click on the links, explore a little bit more on any of the um, studies that I'm sharing, feel free to go to this week's blog post that I have linked in the bottom of the video description. Otherwise, let's get started on the slides and really dive into how you can can create a low toxin bathroom environment through your products. Bathrooms are one area I'm convinced get completely forgotten when we start trying to clean up our living environment. Probably because we spend the least amount of time in this space in comparison to the rest of our home. But the bathroom can actually hold a number of toxins in not only the space itself, but the bathroom accessories that we bring into it. Bathroom accessories, bathroom rugs, towels, and other components that we bring into the space are often the last that we change in our home. And more importantly, we usually focus on the products that are being used on our skin and how we clean up our routines instead. So while this part of the bathroom should probably get our first focus when we're talking about toxins, when you're ready to move past it, cleaning up what you have inside your bathroom space can be just as important. And sometimes it can be a really easy space to control as it's usually smaller and the products and bathroom accessories that we have can easily be switched out for healthier counterparts. So this video is going to cover why the bathroom should be included in your non-toxic home changes and then how to do this without doing a remodel. If you're ready to remodel, I have linked for you in the blog post uh, listed in the video description a post that is really helpful for that project and it has super in-depth um, descriptions and products that you can find if you're doing a remodel. But I'm also going to share with you healthy alternatives for bathroom accessories like rugs, towels, shower curtains, storage, and countertops countertop items. And then to finish up, I'm going to share with you some additional habit changes that you can make to clean up your space even more from the toxins that may be inside. So neglect the bathroom no longer. You can take these simple swaps and easy habit changes and create a healthy space that is free from toxins for you and your family. So let's dive in and take a look at the bathroom as part of a healthy home. So you might be wondering why the bathroom even matters. Maybe you're only spending a short time in this space per day getting ready, but because the bathroom hole is such a small place and oftentimes doesn't have a window, toxins inside can become trapped in the space. So toxins in the air like VOCs need a place to escape and simultaneously they need fresh air coming into the space to dilute the air. Bathrooms quite often have very few air exchanges going on and unless you have a window open while you're showering um, and getting ready or you run your vented bath fan during use and then 20 minutes after, your bathroom probably has quite a few toxins getting trapped inside. You might also be wondering what harm some of these toxins could possibly have on your body. So in general, bathrooms have VOCs present from products, materials, pesticides present in our linens and rugs, as well as a lot of plastic toxins from the bathroom accessories that we choose. And the biggest offender, that's the shower curtain. Um, it usually has polyvinyl chloride and plastic toxins that off gas into the air. So with all these toxins looming in a tiny space and nowhere to go, we can expose ourselves to a lot of toxins in a short time period within the bathroom. Another condition that comes into play in 
is that in general, bathrooms are both warm and humid from our use, and a warm and humid environment encourages materials to off-gas at a much higher rate when compared to a dry, cool climate. But the good news is that swapping out your bathroom accessories for non-toxic alternatives, and then by cleaning up some bathroom habits, you can quickly turn your space into a healthier room of your home. All right, so let's start looking at these bathroom accessories. The first we're gonna take a look at is rugs. So any linens that we bring into our home, rugs included, can also bring in pesticides. And what I've learned about pesticides in cotton and from other fabrics is that the pesticides are are used while the cotton is growing. And so it becomes embedded into the fibers of the material. If you use a bright white rug, you can also introduce chlorine into your space and air due to the fact that the fibers were bleached to get them white, white. And then there's the back of the rug. So rubber backing on non-slip rug, rug pads can contain formaldehyde and PVC toxins in the materials and the glue that adheres the materials. So these are all toxins that I would like to avoid if at all possible, especially on a surface I generally am barefoot on and in a small space where toxins can get off-gassed into the air at a really high rate. So instead of just picking up any old rug for your non-toxic bathroom, try to find a certified organic rug that is also GOTS certified. So that's Global Organic Textile Standard. Um, this will ensure that everything from dyes used to the back of the rug are safe and non-toxic for your bathroom space. And I have my top picks on the blog post this week, which is linked in the video description for you. So next, let's take a look at towels. Towels are going to be pretty much the same as the rugs, only they're probably more important because we use the towels directly on our skin. And more so because after a shower or bath, generally the warm water has opened up our pores to absorb even more of what goes on our skin. Towels can have the same toxins as rugs and bath mats. We're looking at pesticides, chlorine bleach. Um, there's also heavy metals from dyes, and then there's formaldehyde. So formaldehyde in bath towels might sound odd, but it's added to keep the color from fading in the dyes. It prevents static cling. It keeps them mildew resistant and stain resistant. Um, and formaldehyde is a known carcinogen. It's harmful to our brain and our skin on top of that. So look for 100% organic towels. Finding that GOTS certified towel is a great option. This ensures that the fabric is all natural, the cotton is grown in a natural environment free from pesticides, and that there aren't any added treatments to the towels which can introduce chemicals to your product. Next, let's take a look at shower curtains. Um, shower curtains flock most bathroom showers and bathtubs, and often these shower curtains contain plastic toxins, PVC toxins, and other VOCs in the material to ensure that they're waterproof and to ensure that they don't become subject to mold and mildew. So in truth, you want to avoid mold and mildew as well as toxins. And it can be tricky to find exactly what you need in a toxin-free material, but I will tell you that it can be done. Hemp is a great alternative for a shower curtain material that is not only strong and durable, but it is also naturally resistant to mold and mildew. It's one of the best alternatives to a cotton or plastic shower curtain. And the second alternative would be like an organic cotton canvas material. You'd probably also want to have a toxin-free liner with this only because it's not 100% waterproof um, or mildew resistant. What I have found about shower curtains is there I cannot find a 100% toxin-free option other than hemp. So some secondary options might be a nylon or polyester, but because they're made with petrochemicals, they will off-gas somewhat. Um, I have a great hemp um, organic shower curtain linked in this week's blog post. It is very affordable. I know they can be kind of expensive. And this one from, um, it's from Roganique. And I have it, like I said, linked in this week's blog post. It's an excellent option for the bathroom. So next, let's take a look at storage. So I love using the space under my sink for some much needed storage in our bathroom, but bringing in plastic storage or pressed wood storage is also going to bring in 
toxins. Um, pressed wood contains formaldehyde and other VOCs within the wood, adhesive, and paint on the outside. These toxins will off-gas into your bathroom space and increase the off-gassing rates as the temperature and humidity in the bathroom increases. Um, cotton or cloth storage should be avoided in the bathroom because it easily absorbs moisture and it can grow mold or mildew. So instead, you want to opt for wire or metal storage that won't hold on to any moisture, but it can still help organize your products and your linens. Metal that is a wire basket or a bin is a great option because it won't hold on to extra moisture or have moisture condensate on the inside or outside of it. And finally, let's take a look at countertop accessories. So many countertop accessory kits are made of plastic or acrylic, um, which are both man-made materials containing toxins and VOCs. The nice thing about countertop accessories is that you can often find sets or just kind of make your own set from glass materials or jars. It's been a while since I've had a matching set in my own bathroom, and I often just use mason jars and little decorative bowls for things like makeup and beauty products that I want to leave out on my counter. I have loved getting glass foaming soap dispensers from Grove Collaborative, and those live in all my bathrooms. Um, by far, those have been one of my favorite purchases because they have lasted a really long time and they haven't broken under the massive amount of use that they get. Um, I also love that I can just add my own soap mixture to the bottle. So you can try to find materials like glass, ceramic, wood, or stone for your bathroom accessories. So now let's take um, a minute and let's talk about humidity. So if you're looking to clean up your space through your habits instead of replacing your bathroom accessories, then you'll wanna keep in mind that the main focus of your habits is going to be reducing your humidity levels as much as possible. So the first thing you wanna do is run your fan or open your windows. Running a vented fan during use and for about 20 minutes after you're done using water is the best. This will help remove as much of the moisture from the air as possible and you can also shower with the windows open or even the doors cracked to prevent buildup of moisture in your space, which can sit on the walls and floors afterwards. The second thing you can do is to wipe down wet surfaces in the bathroom. The surfaces are generally non-porous, especially tile and tub surrounds and flooring, and so wiping down any wet surface after your shower is going to ensure that the water isn't allowed to sit and evaporate into the air, which will then raise the humidity level. And the last thing, this is my favorite, add some plants. Um, plants are a great way not only to add some life to your bathroom, but plants can also help absorb moisture in the space. I have a few specific plants that are very good to help reduce moisture and create a healthier environment in the bathroom. Um, they're linked on and mentioned in this week's blog post, but I will let you know it is the Peace Lily, the Boston Fern, palms, and Chinese evergreen. These are all plants that absorb high amounts of moisture through their leaves and their roots, and it's a great way to help reduce moisture in your bathroom. If you want more information or links to anything that I mentioned, head to the link at the end of my video description, and you can check out this week's blog post. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today, and going through the slides to help you understand how you can create a low toxin bathroom through the product choices that you make. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment here or send me an email. Otherwise, I'll be back next week with another healthy house tip on creating an indoor space and environment that supports your health.